What's up guys? It's Neko and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be unboxing a sketchbook from no other than art pioneer Bailey J here on YouTube. I've been watching her content for a long time, honestly, for years. And she came out with these sketchbooks and I had to get one. So I ordered me a sketchbook and now I'm going to open it. I'm super excited. I watch all of her vlogs. So, you know, I feel like, you know, this is kind of extra, extra special because I know that she actually um, packs all of her orders on her own. So this is actually hand packed and crafted by her. So <laughs> that's pretty nice to know. But here's how you open it. Ooh. Wow. This is nice. This is really nice. So you have your business card right here you guys never really get to see a close-up in other videos here you go it's nice quality nice quality and a little drawing on the back remember she was doing an oil painting of this one when they came out so nice and the quality is nice see it's like shiny this is mad nice like go Bailey and then you have the Daisy Girl sticker which is also very nice, nice quality. Very nice, very nice. And then we have the sketchbook. So let's take it off the box. This is how it comes in the box, if anybody's wondering. I'll be giving my honest opinions in this video. Um, big Bailey J supporter, so I had to come out and at least get one of her sketchbooks. Um, before they all sold out. I'm pretty sure at this moment they may all be sold out now. So you guys might have to wait till her next launch. But um, I'm going to leave the link to her website in the description box below. If you guys want to check out any other products that she may have on her shop. But let's get on into what you came here to see. So I remember when she was packing these um, on her um, vlog. And it seemed like a lot of work. So I know she puts a lot of work into like... All the packaging and because she like sitting there packaging like hundreds and hundreds of orders and hundreds and hundreds of things and that could be a lot Ooh, this is a first reaction with me so as i'm reacting you guys are getting my actual reaction oh i've never ever had an embroidered sketchbook never this would be the first i've seen in my day so it's pretty unique so let's take off the plastic that it comes with Ooh, it's nice and heavy like heavy it kind of reminds me of like the illy ilio sketchbook like in terms of squareness like, I really like the squareness. Like, this is really good for, like, Instagram and, like, you know, square drawings, you know. Really, really like this. But let's get into the embroidery texture on it. This is really nice. That's nice. All right, let's open it up. So we have the layout in the front. All the daisies. And, by the way, this is the Daisy Cream book by the way, in case I didn't say it earlier. And this would be the first time I had a cream sketchbook. Um, there's a lot of pages in this. Gosh, this is a thick sketchbook. If you guys are wondering, I'm trying to give you guys a very detailed review so you can know if you actually want to go out and purchase this. I mean, it feels good quality to me. I'm not gonna lie, and there's a lot of pages. This is a thick boy. This is a thick boy. Um, the pages feel pretty nice and smooth, too. Okay, so as far as aesthetics and build of the book, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not going to lie. And it also lays extremely flat. Like, look at that. So in terms of, like, quality so far, manufacturer... This is, this is 10 out of 10. So let's put it to the test. 
So I got all my markers right here, and we're gonna do a marker drawing. I think what we should do is just, to be fun, is just do like a fan art of the Daisy Girl, but like in my style. So let's get it. All right, let's get on into the fun stuff now. This is so cute. Like, I don't know where I want to put this. It's so cute. Oh my God. I love cute things. So let's get on to the first page. You know, everybody always struggles on the first page. But we're going to do fan art of the Daisy, Daisy Girl so that we don't, you know, be too, you know, all over the place or too, you know, all over the place. So I'm going to write my name here. Let me write my name. Write my name real quick. My name is Neko. And you guys should consider subscribing to my channel. You know, if you like art related content subscribe to me i'm gonna write my name right here because my name is neko neko and it's my sketchbook <laughs> all right so let's do the first spread or first page is this one right here um i don't like how this one is in the front it's like a little too close not gonna lie so we'll just start like on this first lay here you know start on this one all right, so let's try to figure out some colors we could use to basically draw a daisy girl and also, like, you know, just have fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I feel like I want to stick her in the book. Maybe I should stick her in the book. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick her in the book. So I could, like, you know, always have her in the book. Ooh, that's a nice pill. Y'all see the sticker quality? It's nice. I'm going to put her right here in the corner. Right? And then we gonna um, find some colors that match her. Oh, my cat just jumped in the cat tree. And then we're gonna find some colors to match her. So we have our coffee and we're gonna have a little fun time, you know? Fun time. If you guys don't know Bailey J, she is a art YouTuber pioneer to me. Like back in the days, you know, when I first started watching art YouTube, she was one of the first art channels that I discovered in terms of like Copic markers and um basically like Copic markers um coloring tutorials Disney to cartoony looking style characters vlogs like yeah I really was drawn to Bailey's channel um back in the days I still am because I feel like I've grown up as an artist and a person since i've been watching her so you know it's kind of <laughs> funny to me in a way that i still like i'm still like on her channel and i still like follow her journey she's a really good person like you know i could feel the good vibes from her so like that's why i've been invested all these years so yeah, it's been fun but um let's see how the oh, bleed goes like oh that's normal bleeding for alcohol markers but um, it does lay down really smooth on the paper, though. I will say that. <clears throat> it does lay down pretty, really smooth. Like, that is smooth to me. Like, it's nice. It's like, just gliding on the paper. Like, it's nice. <laughs> but, yeah, back to Bailey. Like, yeah, she, she's a really good um, person. And that's, I feel like that's the reason why I've been invested in, you know, <clears throat> always watching her content over the years. Because, oops, I splashed. <laughs> um... Yeah, I can tell that she's actually, like, a genuine artist and a person. And, you know, I don't know. I just feel the vibes. Like, I feel like me and her could be really close friends in person. Because she's just, like, a really nice person and genuine. And I just, um, yeah, I like I like Bailey. Bailey is nice. <laughs> she's nice. Bailey, if you see this, um, let's be friends. <laughs> let's be friends. But, yeah. Yeah, she's a, she's a cool cat, bro. I'll tell you, like... If you guys don't know her channel, check it out. If you like, right like, now she does like a lot of studio vlogs, like art process, like artist life content, which I love and I also do myself. So if that's your, you know, your gist, then you guys should go over there and check her out. And if you don't know about her, then I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, sis. Go check her out. <laughs> All the links that you need will be in the description box below. Okay, so I've collected some colors and we're looking good so now we can start on the sketching portion of the video 
So I probably just kind of mimic what the sticker looks like, but like in my own style, obviously. Um, if you've been following me for a long time, you know, I usually turn everything into like a Neko or a Neko girl or um, anthropomorphic, furry, whatever you may have character because that's kind of my style. So I would probably end up giving her some blue cat ears because I just love drawing um, chibis and I like to draw um, half cat, half human people. <laughs> It's kind of my thing. That's just, just just that's my thing. I'm the I'm the half animal artist on half human and half animal artist on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll probably just sketch out like how it come out. Like I like her design a lot. It's like you know easy to it's easy to just understand. It's not too complicated on the brain. So I'll probably end up doing something like this, maybe. Oh, she has a middle part. I don't usually draw characters in middle parts. But I ain't mad at it. It's a this is experience that I'm happy to do. I think I'm making her hair more wavier than it is in the picture, but um, I think that should be fine though, right? Gotta add some of my own flair to it. Oop. Uh, pencil kind of smudges. I usually tend to black out the eyes as well, so that kind of matches my style a lot, honestly. Let me give her some more eyebrows and a little nose. I, mean, I don't really draw noses <laughs> in my style. <laughs> um, and a little smile. She has like, she gives her like actual, actual kind of lips. I'll probably just do like, like that kind of maybe. I don't know. And she has a really high neckline in the shirt. I'm not going to go too ham on this part because this is just a sketch trying to flesh out, like, you know, what we want it to look like. But um, so far, I like it. And then we have the little details on the shirt, little dots, you know, it's cute. It's simple, it's cute. I like it. Simple, it's cute. And you figure out what kind of lip we're doing. Um, I'll probably end up filling this in with my line art later, like, you know, like the lips, the way the lips is, and we probably just give her like a little nose right here. Like, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And then I like to add like little shinies around my art because that's just something I do. So little hearts and little sparkles. I think that's cute though. That's cute enough. <laughs> Um, pencil kind of smudges on this paper a little bit. Nothing to be too worried about, but not something I'm used to. It could be because it's cream paper. So maybe that's why it did that, but I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. So that's my first sketch that I came up with. And I think I'm going to just go on with that. I don't know. Maybe I'll doodle her more so I can just like get a little... More acquainted with the design. Or maybe instead of that, I should have did daisies around her. Since this is a daisy themed sketchbook. having a lot of fun.
Let me put the little dots in the middle. I think the front had more like greenery detail. Let me check that real quick. Um, maybe I could add that into like so it's not like so boring. Oh yeah, like the little end bits of the daisy. Maybe yeah, that would be kind of cute too. Like if I added like some of them had like their end pieces or, or all of them. Um, that will make the art look a little more intricate. Cute. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> Voiceover Neko here. Yes. So I don't want to make this video extremely, extremely long. So I was like, let me just add a little voiceover here while I do the, you know, final sketching portion and liner and coloring with you guys and just give you my final thoughts on the sketchbook and all the goodies about it. And yeah, I really enjoy using this sketchbook. Um, sketching on it is very smooth. Um, you get a bit of a smudge. If you don't be careful but i don't think that's too much i mean if you do like exclusive like pencil work then you might have maybe a small issue maybe but for me it's not really an issue um other than that i love how like all the markers glide onto the paper i love how my pencil glides against the paper the paper is um smooth but has a bit of texture to it so it's pretty cool in that aspect like i really really like that about it yeah, and I find the Daisy Girl design to be super cute, so I had a lot of fun doing a little kitty version of the Daisy Girl. And yeah, I don't really have many, many bad critiques about the sketchbook. Like I said earlier in the top of the video, I really like the way the sketchbook is um, crafted. I feel like she did a good job with her manufacturer, and I would see myself buying more sketchbooks from her in the future if she comes out with more designs or anything like that. Like, I'm pleasantly happy with it like coming from an artist from an artist community putting out merchandise that's actually like functional and good quality is i feel like that's really really good so you know pat baby on the back job thank you for coming out with a product that is you know high quality usable and you know it's not just one of these little cheap little things that she threw at us like she actually put time effort into it and I really appreciate it I really like the sketchbook and I'm looking forward to doing more mediums in the sketchbook um I have to check the website for more like mediums that the cream paper is um able to handle because I did stumble upon um the cream and the cream and white paper having like you know being better for certain mediums but overall it's a good sketchbook and yeah if you guys were um skeptical about trying it i mean it's worth the money like go for it like it is <laughs> and i've tried a lot of different sketchbooks like from the render crescent to ilio to oh hoo hoo to just like you know canson like i've tried a bunch of bunch of sketchbooks so i feel like i am i'm well sketchbook acquainted in these streets so tell you could take my word for it i you know it's a good sketchbook um, this portion of the video, um, I forgot to rotate my camera, so it's like, you know, not in full screen, but I hope you guys still can enjoy the coloring portion. As I said, I did have a lot of fun laying down the markers on this paper. It was super, super fun, and yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this fan art, so let me know in the comment section below how you guys, um, think I did for my little rendition of Daisy Girl, and also, are you guys interested in getting a sketchbook from Bailey, like, you know? I think it's worth it um i've seen a couple of other artists on youtube um doing reviews on it and i've had the sketchbook in my possession for two weeks but i've been pretty busy so i haven't really had a chance to open it and give my full review and do drawings in it so i'm super excited to be working in it through the new year this is my first sketchbook of the new year so yeah and i'm so happy i get to um get a chance to support another artist here on youtube so hope you see this bailey and keep doing good and yeah you're just you're killing it, girl. Like, drop more sketchbooks with different designs and everything on them. Like, I'm super excited. I love sketchbooks. I love sketchbook culture on YouTube and in our community. So, yeah, this just fits everything that I need. And one, this is all my needs. I'm super happy. <laughs> and, yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. But, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video so far and you want to see more of my content, please consider liking the video if you like the video and subscribing if you want to see more art-related content. I'm going to be dropping a lot of new content in the new year. I'm starting my um, art degree 
Um, there's going to be a lot of things I'm going to be sharing from my art degree and the learnings and the teachings that I'm going to be learning. And I'm going to share that with you guys. For those who are interested in getting a degree in art, I will be taking you guys on my journey. I start school on January like 28th or something. So like I'm going to be dropping videos like, guys, this is what it's like to go to art school. Like, yo, just wait. Wait on it. I got a lot of stuff coming. I haven't been posting that much. I actually just recovered from COVID, by the way. <laughs> And this is my first video, like, back, trying to get back on the grind and everything like that. So, yeah, just bear with me, like, this, the, the content is coming, it's coming. And, you know, I just really want to hit certain milestones this year with my channel. So, I'm just trying to, you know, stay on it and... Yeah. Okay, guys, so here's the finished product. I did my own little rendition of Daisy Girl with some kitty ears because, you know, I catify everything. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I feel like the markers went on the page very smoothly. I had a good time um, playing in my first spread in this book. And, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about the sketchbook. Um there's bleeding but that's normal with alcohol based markers so and usually i usually put a page behind here so yeah i wouldn't you know say that's a big big giant deal you know that's normal with alcohol based markers here are some of the supplies that i use here are some of the supplies that i used and yeah i just had a lot of fun with it i feel like the colors are nice and vibrant on the page and yeah i really enjoyed using this paper um yeah, I guess this book would have to be a 10 out of 10 for me as far as aesthetics, as far as having square pages, and as far as the markers laying down super smooth on the um paper, the cream paper. And yeah, I had a lot of, I had a good time. So if you guys want to check out uh Billy J's sketchbook, you guys can check out her sketchbook on her website, BillyJ.com, if they're still available, or you guys might have to wait them think at this moment they may be sold out but yeah i had a lot of fun and you guys could check out any of her other merchandise um if the sketchbooks aren't going to be available for a while but yeah i had a lot of fun this was fun um yeah i hope bailey sees this video and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this so if you want to hit the like button and subscribe and support the kid do so and anyways i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye